All right, we got all the parts in, I hope. And so let's go ahead and uh, open this up and get started on installing this. All right, before we really get started, let's go ahead and look at part numbers and what we're looking at. There you go. Sports Shifter 80776. I got this off Amazon, by the way. Um, I have a 4L60E, which is correct. So that's going to work. And I did pick up the Sports Shifter. And this bracket is required. So I went ahead and bought that as well. This goes on a shift lever by the neutral safety switch. And there are the numbers on that one. And I went for the four foot cable only because every time, you know, I recommended a five foot, but I saw so many people like, oh, five foot's too much. I was just eyeballing it and I think four foot's too small, but we'll have to see. All right, let's get started. All right, I pulled everything out of the box. What do we got? We got the shifter over here. It's got a black handle. You can't see it, but anyways. You got the boot. You got a bunch of nuts and bolts. You have the instructions, of course. You have another uh, plate for right here for shifting indicators. Translucent with a light bulb. And then you have the bracket. It goes around the boot. And you have the base which can be trimmed up to your size and liking. Uh, of course, the instructions, and it looks like a cable. So let's open up and see what we got. All right, that's what it is. It is a cable. It is a five foot cable. As you can see, there's the four foot on the black one, and this is the uh, cable. Now it's the same hookup, it's just a foot longer, and, you know, the performance cable is right here. But then you have the regular cable right there. So uh, I think I'm going to send back my 4-inch cable. And it'll save me some bucks. But, um, yeah. It did not mention that it was going to send a 5-foot cable. Oh, well, I'll deal with the length now. So let's move on and put the... Uh, the four foot cable away. All right, after reading the instructions, you know, glancing over and, you know, staring at the big pictures, this kit alone comes with everything you need. All the brackets, nuts and bolts, the shifter, and the cable. If you want some kind of performance thing, you, you don't need to put in a sports shifter. You don't know. Uh, so it is going back, that's going back. And you didn't need to buy that. So if you go on Amazon, you look up one of these, and it suggests, you know, this and this. I don't know. What I bought, it came with everything. So that's kind of disappointing that they did that. But the great thing about Amazon, you can return it. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. Uh, there's all the nuts and bolts uh, and everything just displayed out just to show you what we got. We have... Um, First thing we're going to do, I'm not going to do probably in order what the instructions say, but first thing you need to do is take off this blocker screw right here if you're using a GM four speed automatic transmission, and that's what I'm using. All right, next, what we're going to do is going to go and mock up your shifter. You're going to, one of the reasons you're mocking it up to make sure it's comfortable for you in the vehicle and that it's not going to hit anything right here on the dash. I'm pretty sure this is not gonna hit anything on the dash. I am not using a console, so I have free range of positioning this anywhere I want, as long as it's com comfortable and doesn't look you know, goofy. If you're using a console, you're gonna, you're gonna have to mock it up with your console so you can uh, put the holes in where you need it. Uh, just go ahead and mark it with a Sharpie on either side, and then your transmission tunnel, the hole for the cable is gonna be around here. I'll measure that later, but right now, that looks good. All right, I went ahead and screwed it in, and it's just loosely screwed in, because I still have to attach the cable. 
and that's what I'm going to show you what I'm going to do right now. So when you attach the cable, the cable's going to go through, this is where the cable goes through, and this is where you uh, lock it down with the bolt, and then uh, the cable comes up and hooks up right there, and then you put an E-clip on there, one of these. All right, there it is. The eyelet goes over the uh, this little uh, your uh, shifting lever, and the E clip goes on the end. There's a little slot for it, and you go down here, and uh, it's just a, a bolt with a nut and a lock washer. I use a lock washer. I don't think it said to use one, but I went ahead and used one, and it goes through here. As you can see, it's just barely fitting. I had to take this off, but I'm gonna have to redo this hole anyways when I put carpet in. Because it's going to raise up this, which will change the angle of this. Because two inches after the brass, it needs to be straight. So it's going down straight in. Then you can start twisting it. Or not really twisting, but make the big loop around. But um, So this, this will change a little bit. No big deal. Then I'll pat it off and everything. But let's go underneath and set it up. Alright, we're underneath the car. And... Uh, Based on my application, which is a 4L60E transmission, I'm using this bracket to hold the cable and this bracket for the shifter to connect to the cable right there. This goes on the shifter. It's 15 millimeter, by the way. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on because it's really tight in there, and I'll show you what I get when I'm done. All right? Okay, there's the shifter bracket. And again, all I did was slide it on. It's it's um, rectangular, so it'll slide on uh, perfect. And then you just put the 15 millimeter nut on there and tighten it down. Now that right there, you see the F. That's where we're going to hook it up. And right now the transmission is in the first gear. Pretty sure that's a requirement uh, for the instructions. Again, read those. Well, this is the only way I can show you it. There's the cable bracket from uh, <laughs> the bottom. I'm using the third bolt in. And you skip down to the the hole that's longer for adjustments. And that's for the 4L60E. The instructions will tell you which uh, bracket to use for whatever transmission, whether it's Ford, GM, or Chrysler. All right, I hope you can see that. That's where the, uh, the swivel goes through the, um, the hole that's labeled F. And you put your cotta pin, cotta pin in there, and uh, the bolts on the the bolt on the right I reused what was in there. It was long enough, and the other bolt was the one they supplied. There's a spacer underneath that because you have a lip. See there on the uh, the right where the you have the two uh, two nuts, and then the the bracket is in between the two nuts. There's a a lip on the transmission uh, pan they they like or they supply you with they supply you with two spacers so go ahead and use those and put them there so you have a uh, the bracket is level when you install it okay we're up in the uh, uh <laughs> the driver's compartment there a lot of tight spaces down there it's really hard to work hope you guys got a good view of everything um next up we're going to go ahead and install the uh gear shifter indicator uh, but before that just a little something I don't know if I told you this but the instructions do come with the template you can cut out place on your uh, transmission tunnel and you can drill the holes and make the hole for the cable itself and it should work out uh, this is based off the gear shifter being flush mounted to your transmission tunnel anyways we're not going to actually put everything on because I still have to do carpet. That's what later on down the line. I was just setting this up to figure out if uh, everything's in, shifting right into gear and it starts in park and in neutral and not any other gear. So that's the only reason I'm doing this right now. But I am going to put this on so I can see which gear I'm in. Okay, this you're going to have the mount there. Then this goes on top of the mount. Um, but we don't have the the plastic mount or yeah cover 
Um, what this does, it places over there and you screw it on, you're good to go. But if you're looking at this, there's a little clasp or a bracket right here. It's going to mount on the side. It's going to mount on the side right there. There's two or two holes already drilled. You just screw it in. So after you screw it in, you're going to hook up the cable up here and put a very, very tiny, tiny E-clip on there to hold it in right there. So let me do that and I'll be right back. All right, there's the two little bolts right there. And if you look over there, there's the E-clip attached to the cable. It's really hard to get in, by the way. All right, bear with me. I gotta be really careful because this is not attached. But it's all the way forward, so that's park. That's still park for some reason, I think. Lift up. There's reverse. Neutral. And drive. Second. First. That's it. Now it goes easy all the way back to neutral. Then you got lift up and it goes in reverse. And then put it in park. Well, that was a big uh, no-go. It still starts in every gear. I really thought that the original, not the original, uh, I really thought that the neutral safety switch would take care of that in the, um, that's next to the transmission. But um, obviously I have some wiring to do. But this is as far as I'm gonna go right now with uh, the B&M shifter because I have a lot of other things to do and I don't wanna put stuff on and take it off. So I'm just going to leave it as is. It does work, function as it's supposed to, according to the manufacturer. I do have to figure out the wiring, so maybe that's the issue. But for now, that's it. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'll give you an update when I come up with something about the uh, vehicle starting in gear. I'll see you next time on Alien Rest of My Garage.